This video will show students how you can join and participate in a Nearpod lesson. You can join the Nearpod lesson from any device, your laptop, tablet, phone, or Chromebook. If you're joining from a device with a web browser, simply go to nearpod.com student. If you're joining from an iPad or an iPhone, make sure to download the Nearpod app. To join the lesson, simply enter the five letter code that was given to you by your teacher, then click join. Your teacher may have you join the lesson another way, like with a web link or in Google Classroom. Next, simply enter your first name and the first letter of your last name and click join session. Your teacher may have you enter a different name instead. You should enter whatever name your teacher tells you to. Your teacher will either assign a Nearpod lesson in live lesson mode or student paced mode. In a live lesson, you and your teacher are in the lesson at the same time with your classmates. Your teacher decides when you move to the next slider activity. A teacher might assign you a student paced lesson for independent work. In a student paced lesson, you move through the lesson and complete the activities at your own pace using the blue arrows on the side of the lesson. You can take notes during the Nearpod lesson by using the Notes tab on the right-hand side if your teacher has this feature turned on. Simply click on the notepad and then decide if you'd like to send the notes by email or save them to your Google or OneDrive. You can refer back to your notes at any time to see the notes that you've taken as well as all of the activities, slides, and media like video and websites within the lesson. Your teacher has probably added Nearpod questions directly into the lesson. There are nine types of questions within Nearpod. If your teacher has immersive reader turned on, you'll see a book in the top right corner of your Nearpod screen. Click on the book to have the question read aloud, to translate the question, to make the text larger, or for more options. To begin reading, press the play button. To see more tools, use reading preferences. This is an open-ended question. To answer, type your question in the box and hit submit. Once you submit, your teacher will be able to see your response. With a Collaborate board, you and the other students in your class post to a digital message board. You can respond with text, images, or both. To share your response, add your thoughts in the box below. If you'd like to have an image, you can click on the image search button and search for your image. Once you find an image, click save and then hit post to share your response. You can like or favorite other student responses by clicking the heart. This is a draw it. You can use a pen, highlighter, text, or images to create your response. You can change the color of your pen and draw directly on the screen. You can move the text anywhere on the screen and resize the text box if needed. To add an image, simply click on the image and search for what you're looking for. Once you find an image, hit save to add it to your answer. You can resize and move the image as needed. When you're ready to share your answer with your teacher, hit submit. Using Nearpod, your teachers can take you on a VR field trip anywhere in the world. If you're on a computer, you can use the mouse or the arrow keys to explore. On a tablet or phone, move your device around to look around. Nearpod has even more ways for your teacher to make learning fun and exciting. Thanks for listening.